to another Zendler FBH. So in this FBH, what we're going to look at is Rebecca Cousins' uh, query here. She's basically asking if the um, curriculum, the dynamic curriculum block, can be replaced and maybe use something like this. Now, the dynamic curriculum block is dynamic, so it pulls content in from the different modules and lessons inside those modules, okay guys? But you can bypass that and you can manually set it up. Now, you are manually setting up, so if you add more lessons or modules in here, you're going to need to make sure that you update it because it's going to be a manual process because you're actually bypassing the dynamic block inside the course access page. So let's go so have a look at what we've got at the moment. So if I go to the course access page and this is the place that you can change it you can see this is a default curriculum here now we can actually replace this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in and we're going to do something like this okay we're going to put something like this in there so you can see how it works okay so let's go to pages let's go into our course access page that's down here at the bottom I'm going to click course access page edit now I'm in this page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across here, I'm going to add a new block, in this case an empty block, drag it in. I'm going to come across here and also put two rows, so one column, uh, two columns, one row. Click this, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to make this a little bit thinner this side. Uh, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to take this first element and I'm going to drop an image in. Now I already have some images I've already prepared, so I'm going to drop the first one in, which is module one. I'm going to click that and we're going to upload without crop. So these images were just created in Canva. So inside here, I'm now going to put um, a heading in here. So I'll probably use an H2 heading here. You can use whatever you like. And um, we'll call this module one. And then the basics of Zenla. Okay. So once we've done that, I'm just going to drop another element inside here so it's going to be text I'm going to leave it as dummy text because you can put whatever text you like inside there now the first thing I want to do is I want to actually write um, justify left justify this so I'm going to go test text alignment I'm going to put uh, left here and I'm going to do the same for this as well you can style this however you like it's really up to you this is just um, tweaking things to my likings inside here so I'm going to go down here now and I'm just going to grab this and turn it into a semi bold and that will do for one of the sections. So I'm going to now get this pit, and this is where the magic starts. So I can come in here, I can just clone this block, I can come into here, come into the settings, come across, and then I can actually change that image out, swap it for the next one in the series, which in this case is two. I'm going to click this one, and we're going to go upload without crop. And again, once again, you're going to come in here and change this text to make it suit whatever you want. So I'm going to go creating your site. And you put your text down there and the last one I'm going to come in here and we're going to repeat that step so I'm going to clone this and swap it out okay so now I have this what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more thing in here I'm going to come in here I'm going to actually create a button to click through to the appropriate area so I'm going to create a button in here I'm going to change this button button settings a little bit inside here just change the style for starters so I'm going to come in and choose a rounded button here I'm going to come back to style so I need to select that button again click in the gear icon and come down here I'm going to change a few things in here so I want this font site to be font size to be a bit smaller for sure and I want to change that font color I'm going to make it a black in this case and I'm also going to change this border outline to a dark very dark gray with a three column around there I'm going to say not full width I want it to be normal this is centered at the moment but I'm actually going to left justify it here I'm going to shoot back up the top to where I've got the padding and we're going to close this up so it's a little bit tighter around the button so I'm going to come around here just going to change these a little bit just makes it look a little bit more presentable inside there so now I have a button supplied here I'm going to duplicate this button out we're going to drop this button down into the various areas now I should have written inside here um, the text so I'm actually going to delete this one out just for a second and I'm going to change that text let's put this Oh, let's put start. Oh, 
Okay, that looks better. Okay, I'm not quite happy with the size, but you can change all these things really easily. So let's go down again, just click inside here, jump back and go and change this size. That looks a bit better. And also this margin's a little bit over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a negative value in here of like negative four. It's just gonna knock it back a bit. Okay, so I'm now gonna clone this and we can move it down. Then I can start linking it up and then it's finished. So you're gonna notice I've left the curriculum block down here and there's a reason I've done that. It just means that I can easily grab links from the page rather than going into the curriculum itself. So now I've got this started, I've got this and I'm gonna click save to this. And you notice we've already got our preview in this window here, but I'm gonna close that down just for clarity guys. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna preview this again. Now all I need to do, now I'm in here, is I just need to go into this right hand click and I need to copy link address. And I need to go to the first one and now I'm gonna put an action on this. I'm gonna click in here. I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna go action, go to link and I'm gonna put the link inside there like that and I'm gonna click save. Now I'm gonna jump back into here and we're gonna do the same for the other. So I'm gonna right hand click, copy link address. I'm gonna come into here, I'm gonna copy this across. And this is why it's easy to have that, um, the curriculum block in there if you need to. So I'm gonna show you what I do for all of this. So let's go back into the last one, which is this one, right hand click, copy link address as jump back straight into here so you can see how easy this is to do it we're just now linking it up we're creating our own manual block now I finished that what I need to do is I need to test it so I definitely need to make sure that it's saved I need to refresh this page and we need to check that it's going to work so if I mouse over these you can see that the URL in the left hand corner is changing and this will take us to the right place so if I click this one it's going to take us straight into the curriculum at that lesson. So if I click back and I click this one, it's going to take us to module two, just in that lesson. Do you see that? And if I click three, it will take us to the last module, which is this one here. So that's how you can do it really easily. So what I do is finally, you don't need this curriculum block down here. So we click in here and delete it. Now guys, a quick little tip for you here. Uh, so this page is now done. So if we view this page, you have no curriculum on here and it's all good. So let's just review it quickly. And there you go, you've got now our lovely inline, same as this kind of style uh, in the page. And you can click straight through to these. Remember you can link on images as well. To link on an image, you just click the image, click inside there, go to settings, and you can go on click go to and put the link in there if you want to as well. Now guys, if you decide that you want to, and this is a little bit of an extension, if you decide that you're gonna add another module to this, say you're gonna come in and you're gonna add another section. So let's call it um, module uh, four, okay? And then go advanced. So if you create another module like that and you put lesson into it, let me just call it test lesson and save it, add, add a little bit of media. Okay, remember you can add all your videos and everything else in there. If you add this in here, now remember that if I refresh this, it's not going to automatically update. So, and you're not gonna have a link to tell you where to go. So what I do is I do this. So I will come in here, if, if I've created that new lesson in here for, I will come in here and I will grab the curriculum block. So I'm gonna go into courses and you're gonna see down here, we have the curriculum block. There it is there. And if I drag this in, I can temporarily use that link. So what I do is I click save it out, come in here, refresh it, and you're gonna see that that's dropped back in down here. And now I can right hand click and I can copy that link address. Okay, so I've got it. So if I do an advanced one, let's just pretend I'm doing an advanced one, I would come in here, change this to the advanced, remove that link, replace it with the correct one coming here, obviously change the image as well, and call it advanced. And there we go, we've got our new one. So then I've got that link, I can I can then delete this out, because I don't need it anymore. So I'm just gonna hit the delete there. 
hit the delete there, click save, come back into here, refresh, this will no longer exist anymore. Let me just change this to, let's just refresh this now and we should have it. So now you've got your advanced one and that will go to the module four, which is there, which we just set up. So that's how you can do it, easily set these up. Remember you need to change these um, and to get reference using the dynamic block, remember you can put that block back in, use it by previewing it to find the link and then you can then just simply delete the block back out and keep this. So that's just a time saving tip for you. So I'm gonna delete that one out because we don't need it and that's how you do it. So pretty simple. And so you can design these pages however you like. Now, if you're gonna ask me, can we change the, can we put images in like this for the curriculum page? Then sorry, no, we cannot. In the course player, this is what is in here, okay? So it's only on that course access page you can do that, what I just showed you.